So based on the previous calculation to evaluate the location of compensating zero, we have negative 3.006. So our ZC is here. From uh, the calculation of angular contribution from the compensated dominant pole, negative 3.613 plus J 6.193 and also the same damping ratio 0.506. So this is the theta ZC that we uh, determine from our previous calculation 95.6 degree. So this is the root locus compensated system where we have our open loop dominant uh, open loop poles from the uncompensated open loop transfer function as equal to 0, negative 4 and negative 6. For PD compensator we have ZC equal to negative 3.006 and uh, based on the closed loop transfer function calculation, we also have our four poles for the closed loop pole, which is negative 2.775. So our root locus looks like this, uh, that connecting between uh, radial uh, damping ratio line 0.504 with the compensated dominant pole. So this table summarizes the um, response for uncompensated system with the compensated PD compensator after we add ZC negative 3.006 and also the compensated system has closed loop third pole which is negative 2.775. So compensated system demonstrated faster response in terms of settling time compared to the uncompensated system for settling time and also peak time. So uh, if we look at the dominant poles which uh, the real part has more negative value and the imaginary part has more larger value. So the more negative the real part of dominant poles, the shorter the settling time. And compensated TP, peak time of the compensated, is smaller than the uncompensated due to larger imaginary part of the dominant poles compared to the small imaginary part of the uncompensated dominant pole. So in conclusion, compensated response a compensated system responds faster than the uncompensated. So the final results are displayed in this figure which compares the uncompensated system, the black line with the compensated system, the green line, and the faster compensated system as shown in this figure with a with a similar or equal overshoot since the damping ratio is equal for uncompensated and compensated system which is 0 0.504. So this is a, a summary of the steps in order to design the PD compensator. So first we evaluate the performance of the uncompensated system operating with 16% overshoot and then uh, we determine the uncompensated system dominant pole and then uh, based on this one we determine the settling time for the uncompensated system and since the design requirement is focusing on reduction of the settling time so based on the new value of the setting time we determine the compensated systems of dominant pole and then the last one we design the location of compensator zero for pd compensator by using summation of angle criterion